But of course, once the temperature goes down and it starts getting cold and there's snow on the ground and then it gets really messy with all the um, mud and stuff in the backyard, I stop shooting out there and I do inside the house and I use my regular carry gun as a dry fire gun. Um, the way I use it is very simple. So again, I usually, so it's open up again, empty, empty, empty. And what I do is I will use a tool, actually two tools. One tool is the Mantis X. I've been using that for a while now. So it's basically a um, accelerometer meter that you put on the front of the gun. <coughs> Excuse me. So you basically take this and you put it on here and it then connects to an app on my iPhone and it shows me what I've been doing. Um, muzzle movement while I was pulling the trigger. So it helps me. It's almost like, you know, my, my instructor on the gun or my instructor in the pocket. And it basically helps me determine what the muzzle was doing. You know, was I straight? Was I moving the gun? Um, and also as a means to make sure that I don't have anything in the barrel and that I cannot um, load a round, a live round into the barrel, I use this little laser bullet. Okay, it's a laser light, has a little um, battery in it. And then it's just, so you put it in the barrel like so, and then you see, as you hit it with the striker, it will actually create a little laser inside. And so I close that and then I can basically sit back and hold the gun and you saw the laser come on. And then I have a target that I pretty much point at and the mantis is giving me um, a very nice concise picture of what my muzzle was doing as I was practicing to make sure that as I depress the trigger nice and easy the muzzle and my sight picture stay the way they are supposed to. So when I get back that's what we're going to look at next. Okay so now we're in part two, so you know, this is my phone, and on my phone I have this app called Mantis X. So if I start that, you can see here is the app. Now on the Glock, I again hit still. Let me show you. It's still unloaded. Okay, there's nothing there. I have my laser here. So laser there and what I'm doing now basically with this thing here when I turn it on it's down here see a little green okay now I'm going into the phone and I'm going to tell it to connect there you go now the phone is actually showing the uh, mantis and let's do open training okay and then it tells me goal precision marksmanship shoot any number of shots at any pace review score and trace view this drill is not timed so it's basically just you hold it and it will get it will gather information on how you move the the gun around. So as an example, um, also let me show you, here is my 
laser light target. So it's a reaction target. It's basically, so it has two settings. Uh, a setting that I sometimes use without the mantis is basically, so you turn it on and then it will beep at random intervals and you shoot it when it beeps. So let's just wait until it beeps. There you go. So you shoot and then it shuts off. That's uh, one way and uh, I'll, I'll just put the gun on it here in a minute. Yeah, so there we go. I didn't hit the mid the middle, that's why. Okay, so I'll just put that over here. Oh yeah, wait, the other one is, so there's a second setting, right? So you see RT, that was the setting where it beeps and then you shoot, you get like five seconds or 10 seconds to shoot at it. And then the all the way over here, now it's just, it will just beep when I, hit the middle of the target um, and I'm just going to first calibrate so the first thing you do with the mantis is that you calibrate so you put the gun on a flat surface that tells the mantis that you're set up and then here is um, the setup, little target. So right now I have it set for dry fire. I'm right-handed and the mantis is facing forwards on the gun. I'm going to move the gun around a bit just so that I can show you how the muzzle movement and as I'm pulling the trigger I'm going to move the gun. Okay. Okay, now what you see here 57.7 that's my score and what you can see is that my trigger press movement at the top and then uh, or the yellow is the trigger press movement and the red uh, the blue is basically the hold movement so that was after I shot uh, let's see here and you can see it tells me that the shot went actually low and slightly to the five o'clock position. So what I'm doing next here is one more over. Now here you see what my muzzle was doing. Okay, you can very clearly see how I was moving the muzzle around. And then the yellow, okay, the blue is pre-trigger break. The red is where the trigger broke. Uh, sorry, the yellow is where the trigger broke. So as I was as the trigger broke, that was the movement that the muzzle did when the trigger broke. And then the red is after the break. And you see there's a little X there. And that X denotes where the trigger actually broke. So you can very clearly see how I was moving and why the shot, instead of going in the middle of the target, actually went low in the five o'clock position because that's where the trigger broke so let's try another one i'm going to go back okay so i'm still here just putting it back here reloading and this time and i'm probably not going to be able to do it very um, steady because I'm, I'm sitting here and i'm not really all that um, steady at it but this one I'm going to try and do a little more steady. Okay, so here we go. Okay, now again, I did keep it steadier. So this time my score is at 96.8 out of 100. So 100, 100 is the perfect score. And this one you can see I was definitely better because my trigger movement uh, went from a score down here to up here. And of course, the first shot, I was actually moving the gun around on purpose. But and again, the second one you see, you see there. So that was the first one here. So you saw there was a lot of movement. And now the second one, there was much less movement. And if I go over one more here, you see now how much better I kept the muzzle pointing 
at the middle of the target. So not only can I look at as I'm uh, aiming, I see my sight picture and as I'm pulling the trigger, my sight picture stays the same, but then also I know where I'm hitting because the laser tells me on the little target where I'm hitting. And because on this one, whoops, sorry, because on this one I was slightly, um, you can see here when I enlarge this, so this is, so here is the enlarged version, and you see I was slightly off the middle when, when the trigger broke. And because of that, the target, my little reactive target, did not beep when I hit it because it wasn't in exactly in the middle ring, which is that very uh, ring in the middle. So right there. So because I didn't hit that exactly, that's why it didn't beep. So I also have the um, visual feedback from the laser. And then I when I hit the middle, I also have the feedback from... Uh, the beeping from the target that shows me that I hit the middle of the target. So anyhow, this is the Mantis X app. And then um, as you...